This conference will now be recorded. All right. So in the previous session, what we have done, uh, so we have created uh, external tables, correct? So whatever the external tables you have created, now what we need to do is external tables you created in a Synapse dedicated SQL pool, correct? This is my on-premises SQL server mm -hmm. in my local computer. This we uh, pulled into the data uh, blob storage and storage account. Okay. Then after inside the dedicated SQL pool, we created a few external tables. Okay. External tables we created. Now what you need to do is you need to prepare a document. What document you need to prepare is I have some tables in the target. So target table scripts I'm going to give to you. So what are the target tables we need to load the data from source? Okay. Source already we have whatever the external tables you created, right? From this external tables, we need to load the data into I'm going to give some target table list. Dim customer, dim product, dim category, dim subcategory. Before you are going to load, you need to identify the columns. Let's, for example, uh, the list of tables, the scripts I will give you. No, I will explain you. Okay, so these are my data warehousing table scripts. These tables are, uh, you need to load the data into these tables only. No, 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 no. Only six tables only. Six tables are there according to the requirement, like columns we have to In source, I have 71 tables, but in my target, only six tables. But, but in six tables, uh, in six tables, the columns are in from different tables. You got it? Let me open the scripts. Let me create one sample database. The scripts you can find it in uh, Google Drive link I shared, right? In the chart I shared, if you remember. Okay, so these are the tables we have. Let me create one database. In that database, I will run the scripts. I will give it as a target database. Yeah, no problem. In Synapse also, those data types are eligible, right? No, sir. Some of them are eligible. Some of them are eligible. When we are creating external tables, it's taking like only few. So, some, most of them are not supported. Okay, then I think uh, small int place, you can support int. No problem. Int or that. So, let's for example, I'm creating all the list of tables, the scripts. Whatever the script in the Google Drive, I shared, right? This, I'm just opening in my, you have to create this in Synapse. 
okay all these tables you need to create in a synopsis click execute okay all the tables are created in which database it is creating in target database you can see the list of tables it has created so in the same master key we have to run this. Yeah, see here. No, 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 no. These are not external tables. Why are you running master key? Separate. Uh, you need to create a... Uh, uh, these are the separate tables. Just run in that. Just only having a table structure, that's all. Oh. See here, for example, dim customer. So, in this dim customer, what are all the columns you have? These are the columns you have. For all these columns, from where you are getting the data? From the external tables. But all these columns are not in a single table. They are in multiple tables. So you need to prepare this document. What document? For example, see here, first name. In this table, first name column, coming from which table? That information you need to prepare a document over here. That is mapping document. Okay, you got it? Then it is easy to do the further development. Sorry. So what you need to prepare is take first one table. Total how many tables you have? Six. Uh, yeah, customer Six. table, dim customer date. Date table we, we will run manually by writing some SQL script. Okay, that I will give you. But apart from this dim date table, remaining tables only you have to do this mapping. Let's take for example, dim customer, geography, product, subcategory, fact internet, sales table. Okay? Only these tables. So, let's take first dim product table, sorry, category table, uh, customer table. So, in the dim customer table, whatever the columns you have, simply paste all the columns, sorry, uh, simply paste all the columns here. Hmm. Let me how to paste all the list of columns. How will you get all the list of column names in your table? So for all those things, you can use uh, uh, queries. Already predefined queries are there. Let me find out this. There are some predefined queries are there. It will give you all the list of columns. And also you can search for a column in a database also. Are you going to see the first name column in the source external table, see each table by opening? Find all the list of columns, names from a table in SQL Server query. To find all the column names from a table, you can use this one. Simply from which table you are trying to find out all the list of columns? In customer table. Remove this. Okay, these are all the list of column names. Now, so this customer key, this key values, you don't need to identify the value, but from here onwards, you need to find out the title. So title is coming from which table? First name is coming from which table? So how to find a particular column in a database? How to find, or else you can write down search a column name in SQL database, write a query. In this entire database, it will try to find out that column name, what you are trying to identify. Hmm? Oh. For example, where you need to verify in your external tables, you need to identify this one. Or else in your source database, you can do better. I will recommend to do this source. in your source database. This is my source database. In your on-premises SQL server is there, right? There you can try to identify. Which column you are trying to find out? First name, right? 
let me give name name with the name anything it will come hmm. Yeah, see here with the name these many tables these many columns are there what do you want let me make it more filter first name here first name column is there in a table you have in the person table you have to take from the person table only remaining all are views only if you want to put a filter user defined table right and instead of to avoid a this one to avoid the views i want to use the only table let me prepare a better query Last time we have written query, right? Uh, only user defined tables to get. Where did we save that? So how to avoid the. Table type of one hmm? Where is the table type? Select a sharp table name, table name, table name. Not the scheme. One second. Find only user defined tables in SQL. Ah, base table. Table type equal to. Table scheme. We need to join this actually as a inner join as, as B on a dot table name equal to B dot, B dot table name. Better you can make A dot table underscore schema equal to b dot table underscore schema okay now we will get table underscore schema comma table underscore name comma column name comma data type because both columns are in the same way that is the reason you need to put dot okay perfect so now we can use this query to identify a column see first name column in which table person table what is the schema of that person table person dot this one you can observe here goes to source database e query you can execute jail where you need to execute this query in all premises source heritage is there right there you can execute then obviously same table say you can identify in the external table also why i don't want you to run this query in the synapse dedicated sql pool and external tables is maybe this query may not may work or may not work 
ha uh, here it will work that is the reason yes exactly identify a column name ident return all column names from a table clear so now what you are going to understand the sheet how you are going to fill is for the first name column what is the source db Huh? Versus DB. Source DB means database. Database is your synopsis dedicated SQL pool. What database name you are giving? When you are creating a synopsis dedicated SQL pool, right? You created some external tables, right? What is the database name you are going to give? That database name you need to provide. Like uh, synopsis dedicated SQL pool. Synopsis dedicated SQL pool. External tables. A database like the external tables create this or database name you want the okay. Then schema name means in the external tables. I don't think you have a schema, even though whatever the schema it is returning here, right? That name we can give better for understanding purpose. Person schema. Next source table name. What is the source table? Person table. So your external table you need to write down. Obviously, ext person. I hope you have given that name, right? That name you can give. What is the source column name in your source table? External table. What is the column name you have? Obviously, same. And what is your target database? I hope the same database you are using. But you have to give the database name here. And in which table you are going to load this data? Into the DIM customer. What is your column? First name. So if you are preparing this document, then it is easy to do the next process. So don't do everyone. You share this. You can share this. This table you can do. This table you can do. And out of this table, these columns you can do. These columns you can do. Finally, you can segregate the document. Okay, under any tables, just split this one that you can plan internally, but everyone needs to be participate in this. Got it? I will share these queries as well in the chat, and uh, this document also I will upload again, and then you can download this from the Google Google Drive link. I will share in the chat. After creating these six tables, what is the next? The next step is about we need to uh, develop uh, we need to develop uh, not power bi etl we need to define you need to download the data right you need to load the data from source to destination external tables to these six tables you need to process the data by using data flows in the data factory once that done then power bi will come to the picture then project over then another scenario, data bits, we can bring it. Got it? You need to explain what you have done in this process in interview. If you are making this much struggle and this much time, if you are spending, easy to you explain. If I'm giving some uh, seven to eight lines of the code, eight lines to explain the project description, you, you may not. This will come from your heart. Because you spent some time, you did really. Then you can able to do what the first step you did, what the second step you did, what the third step you did. I will share all these uh, queries. Let me put the name this as a miscellaneous queries. Let's start this one. Everyone has finished? 